Let's take a look at the Shred Amp Simulator effect and see what it does. Okay, and um, I want to select, I want to first of all change the instrument before adding the effect. I want to select um, a good instrument here. Let's see, electric guitar. Electric guitar will be good. And let's try clean, clean electric guitar. Alright, so I'm gonna leave it at this and then let's go to the effects and select Shred Amp Simulator. This is Shred Amp and on the default preset, this is what it sounds like. So you can try so many other, there's so many perfects here, but I, but I want to go direct to the sentence. Okay. This is how I, I went to the sentence by clicking edit here and it should bring out the box. And here you can technically modify this to suit your needs. Um, I can drag the microphone away from, okay. I can drag the microphone away from the speaker or close to the speaker. So I'm going to play this while I move the microphone. <laughs> All right, so there are so many other um, boxes which you can find by by going to select head around this place go here and click the down arrow and it will bring up um, heads or boxes as I call them so from here you can, you can change it click the first one Here's the third one. I think this was the default. And here's the one known as quarter. Here's a um, super sound. see it seems there's a similarity between shred and Marvel so let's try shred the first box and let's try Marvel oh there's a difference there's a huge difference and um, using your MIDI keyboard you can actually um, use the pitch bend and modulation knobs. Let's try the pitch bend. And you can try the modulation. Let's try the modulation. as a, at the middle and if 
if I roll the modulation to the top, this is right from my MIDI keyboard, so we can see that on the screen. <laughs> I'm sorry. So n right now it is at the middle. <laughs> And I can technically, um, when I move the modulation knob up, yeah, that's all the way up. When I move it back all the way down, it's turned off. And let's experiment with this head known as quarter. I'll experiment with this by trying uh, moving microphone around. This is the closest the microphone can get, the virtual microphone. I move the microphone away from the speakers. using the pitch bend. Okay, um, right here I can try to do um, uh, use the dig stereo delay and see what what happens. Click on. So let's try this. Okay, that's uh, the delay. I can also increase the time of the delay. Increase it. That's really fascinating. And I can, let me turn this off, the, um, the stereo delay. And I can go to the power amp drive and try to decrease that. Okay, so let's experiment with another box by going to the select head. Uh, it is called head, but I'm not, you know, a guitarist. I'm a keyboardist, so I'm gonna um, call this. I'm gonna keep calling this a box. So let's try the Marvel, my favorite. <laughs> side this is really this is really fascinating um, I can I can go here and modify the mid Um, 
um, you can there's a lot of things knobs you can adjust here you can go to Shiva tremolo um, let me turn this on <laughs> really good and it is on sign let's try saw how about triangle depth and wait a minute I can use this to create some form of um, dubstep warble bass I think yeah I just got some idea from this this is really <laughs> interesting um, okay let's try the speed interesting see what I'm doing here I'm grabbing this microphone down here and moving it left and right <laughs> that's awesome but I'm gonna turn that off and I'm gonna try something else like noise gate okay let's try um, mountain reverb room size let's increase that I felt like a rock star <laughs> uh, doing all this from the keyboard. Um, let's try. I'm gonna turn this off and I'm gonna try the OD Treble Master. Let's turn this on. That's really interesting. Um, I did that. I do all that with my um, pitch band and modulation knobs from my uh, MIDI keyboard. So let's try the um, nouns filter. Turn this on. Turn this on. Low pass. Peak. Peak and um, loop pass through. 
well. Um, yeah, that's a, this is to show you the amount of possibility you can, what you can actually do with this shred amp simulator. It is really a good, good pl effect plugin um, for serious producers. And um, yeah, I'm gonna. I, I would. I would recommend this to you guys. So, if you want to produce rock stars, be it if you if you want to use real good guitar, you can actually use this as your um, amplifier. It is really awesome. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for watching this, and I'll talk to you next time. Um, subscribe for more videos coming up for you. Bye-bye.